Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel, Jnana Varkani. In trigonometry, we often deal with sine, cosine and tangent values of angle. But how can we quickly remember these values? So let's see one hand trick in this video. Imagine your hand as a guide to help you to remember these values. Let's start with left hand. Now, here the little finger represents 0 degree. Ring finger represents 30 degree. Middle finger represents 45 degree. Index finger represents 60 degree. And thumb finger represents 90 degree. So let's start with finding sine values. To find sine values, we are going to use one formula called as square root of fingers below theta divided by 2. Here what it means is we need to count the number of fingers below the angle value and take the square root of that and divide it by 2. So let's say we need to identify sine of 0. So as per the rule we need to find the number of fingers below 0. So now below little finger we don't have any other finger. So number of finger below 0 degree is 0. So square root of 0 divided by 2. Answer is 0. Likewise, we can identify cause of any angle. But the only difference is we are going to count the number of fingers above instead of counting it below. So let's say if you wanted to find cause of 0. Then what we do is we count the number of fingers above the little finger. So square root of 4 divided by 2. This gives me answer as 2 divided by 2 that is equal to 1. Similarly, we always identify tan value with one simple formula that is sine divided by cos. So if I use the above 2 formula, we will get answer, we will get the formula as square root of fingers below theta divided by square root of fingers above theta. So to identify tan of 0, I have to identify number of fingers below theta is nothing. So that means square root of 0 divided by above theta that is 4 square root of 4. Square root of 0 divided by square root of 4, this gives me answer as 0. 0 divided by 2, 0 divided by any number will give answer as 0. Next, how to identify 30 degree values? I, we will use same formula. Sine of 30 sine of 30. So, below your ring finger, there is only one finger. That represents square root of 1 divided by 2. So, it is equal to 1 divided by 2. So, sine of 30 is half. So, similarly, cos of 30. So, below your ring finger, we are going to use it to find out the uh, sine value. For cos, we are going to identify above ring finger, how many fingers are there? Above ring finger, we are having 3 fingers. So, square root of 3 divided by 2. So, answer is square root of 3 by 2. So, tan, that means square root of 1 divided by square root of 3. So, answer is 1 by square root of 3. To identify 45 degree, Sine of 45, so that means below your middle finger there are 2 fingers. So square root of 2 divided by 2. We can keep this value as same, square root of 2 divided by 2 or we can simplify it. How to simplify it? So multiply and divide square root of 2 in both the sides. That means nominator and denominator. So you will get it answer as square root of 2 into square root of 2. This gives me answer as 2. 2 divided by 2 into square root of 2. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So, answer is 1 by square root of 2. We can keep same value square root of 2 divided by 2 or we can simplify it as 1 by square root of 2. Next, cause of 45 degree. Again, it is number of fingers. Above 45 degrees, 
2. So, square root of 2 divided by 2, again we are getting same values. So, we can keep it same thing or we can simplify it with the above procedure and we will get answer as 1 by square root of 2. So, tan of 45, square root of 2 divided by square root of 2, it is 1. Next, to identify 60 degree, sine of 60. So, sine of 60 is below your um, index finger, there are 3 fingers. So, square root of 3 divided by 2. Next, cos of 60 degree, only one finger is there. So, above 60 degree, that is 1, square root of 1 by 2. So, answer is half. Tan of 60 degree. So, tan of 60 degree is square root of 3 divided by square root of 1. So, this gives me answer as just square root of 3. Next, 90 degree. Sine of 90 degree. Sine 90 equal to square root of 4 divided by 2. That means there are below thumb finger, there are 4 fingers. So, square root of 4 divided by 2. So, 2 divided by 2. This gives me answer as 1. Cause of 90 degree. So, above 90 degree there is no other finger. So, square root of 0 divided by 2 answer is 0. Tan of 90 degree. So, square root of 4 divided by square root of 0. So, here I am getting answer as 2 divided by 0. Any number divided by 0 is equal to infinity. So, easily we can identify sine, cos and your tan values. But to identify seek value, we are always going to take inverse of cos. To identify cosec value, we are going to take inverse of sin. To identify cot value, we are going to take inverse of tan. So, how can we remember these values? So, already you know how to identify sin value, cos value and tan value. Just you have to take inverse. So, when to take inverse of which angle that you have to check it, correct? So, to, you can remember this value using some simple trick. That is, to identify seek of any angle, we are going to take always inverse of cos. Cosec means inverse of sin. Cot means it is inverse of tan. How to remember this? Always look at the third letter. So, is seek. Here, yes, E C. Third letter is C. To identify seek value, third letter is C. That means I have to take inverse of cos. Cosec. So, third letter is yes. So, that means I have to take inverse of sin. Cot. Third letter is T. That means I have to take inverse of tan. So, with the help of this remembering third letter, so you can easily identify the value. So, after identifying all those values, we will get this table. So, sin 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degree. So, same way sin, cos and tan you are going to identify with the hand trick. This to identify cosec, sec and cot, take inverse of that. So, I hope you understood how to calculate these value and how to remember these value easily. Thank you.